going to do the curved seam. This would be used uh, if you were putting a pocket placement in or a fake pocket. Um, you can imagine how uh, you have a little fake pocket here. Um, that would be a curved uh, seam that you would have to put in. I'll show you how to do that today. When you have a curved seam, we need to do a stitching line along here, along the convex curve, sorry, the concave curve. Um, the convex curve will then fit right into the concave curve. So in order to do that, we're going to do a stitching line that is inside this concave curve. This is a base of um, stay stitch line. And we need to do it all the way around the curve. We want to be a half, our, we have a half inch seam allowance. We want to be right about where the half inch seam allowance is. And we'll do that with a regular stitch rather than a small stitch. And I'm using my half inch as a guide, but I want to be inside the half inch. going to take the scissors and we're going to clip in this half inch. Um, here's our, it's just short of a half, a half an inch. I'm going to clip all the way around this. And I'm going almost about, I'd say about three eighths of an inch in between the clips. And the more you clip it, the better, because um, it will allow you to open this up that much more. do when you're putting these together. Uh, these are going to line up here and here. That's what my notches are for so that I can line up my um, so I can line up my uh, seams and when I put these together I might want to mark myself a couple markings so that I know exactly where these should line up. Um, so what I'm doing is lining this up so that one is on top of the other. And I'm just going to mark with my um, pen, I'm going to mark where these should join. So, for instance, you can see through where, where my marking is. And what I want to do is line up exactly where these uh, inter should intersect. So I'm going to make myself a couple of dots here along the stitching line so that I know exactly where these should line up. just make sure that I have that marking going through to the other side. So I'm just coming down from 
for it here. And you can see the marking through here and through here and through here. Okay? Now, of course, we want to put right sides together when we're marking this, and this will allow me to then place this together so I can actually sew my seam. And then I need to pin this, matching each one of these little dots that I just placed in here. going to go to the next dot and line that up. And you can see that as I walk myself around here, this is now able to bend. Back. You see how that creates the curve because of the notches that are there for the clipping that I've done. And I'm putting one dot right on top of the other dot. should also match up. I'll probably put one or two more pins in between where I've put this, but now I know that everything is lined up where it should be. So um, I put another pin or two in between each one of these, okay? Making sure my edges stay together because you don't want to pull one out, pull it out. Uh, they need to, the edges have to stay together. Okay, so you can see that it, you can ease this right around the curve here, as long as your edges are together. go back um, and kind of just feel <clears throat> along the stitching line if I'm getting any bumps because if I get bumps as I go back with my fingers I can uh, smooth that out and make sure that I have a pin so that I don't get uh, anything caught when I'm actually sewing.
Okay, I think I'm ready to sew. Now the only thing you need to do is make sure as you go that you pull this all back because what's going to want to happen is it's going to want to sew like this and then you'll catch this. So you have to keep pulling this down as we go. I'll show you. lining this up with the half inch now, not a little less than uh, like I did my first stitch. So I want this right to be, to be right at the half inch. Um, okay. And when you're starting, you want to back stitch, of course. And I'm keeping this right at a half inch. I keep my finger here so that I can feel if there's anything getting caught in there. Um, and you may need to stop and adjust. So right now I feel like there's something coming up. So I just kind of pull the underneath side so that I can feel again that there's nothing getting caught underneath there. just as I go. out all your pins and you will see you should have a nice smooth curve. And this also will be pushed in, uh, in one direction so we have a nice smooth curve you will press that and my you can see where my dots have all lined up and there it is our finished product we would iron this up